Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today we're going to be putting together a jade inspired nail look and I'm going to be using the Femi Beauty or Laser Girl method with poly gel and these beautiful tips. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to be doing is sizing our tips and choosing the correct size for each nail. And I'm going to be using this cute little nail stand for them to sit on while we work on them. And the very first step in this process is to add a layer of clear poly gel to all of the nails. This layer is the base layer that will allow the different gel colors to marble beautifully onto the nail and create that gorgeous jade kind of look. So make sure that it's a super thin layer and very well spread out. Uh, throughout the entire nail. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird today. I'm a little sick, but it's nothing serious and it's just my nose is clogged and I can't really, <laughs> I don't really sound like myself, but yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> So after that is done, it's time to see the beautiful colors that we're going to be using today. And I wanted these kind of green minty shades for the jade look. As you can see, these are different variations of green, lighter and slightly darker colors, as well as some glitter and this gorgeous gold color. So the easiest way to work on these marble nails is to add a small amount of the polishes onto my little a dish that I have here and I also used some of these beautiful mylar flakes on the first nail but I ended up not liking them as much so I only used them on this one. So the way that I go about creating this crystal design is I start adding sort of like stripes, uh, downward stripes across the nail with each color and I just add them randomly and I try to top them down and push them down into the poly gel with my brush. And then with a very thin dotting tool, I go ahead and create a swirl marble kind of effect, uh, which essentially causes the gels uh, to be mixed with the poly gel. And this creates a lot of dimension and depth into the crystal. And it really makes it look like a marble design. So after I'm satisfied with how it uh, turned out, I will go ahead and cure this under my tiny little nail lamp and I will continue the process with the rest of the nails. So here you can see I added all the colors in the exact same fashion and then I go ahead and I marble it and I spread it out with my brush, add any colors wherever I think they're missing and then go ahead and cure it into the lamp as well as the first one. So after repeating this process on these three nails, I will use this awesome rubber base gel in color clear by Christian Artesio and I will add a tiny amount to the last two remaining nails and I will go ahead and attach them onto my nails. Now this kind of mimics the appray method but with poly gel the nail just becomes a lot thicker and since these are not soft gel extensions and they're plastic, it will help them last longer and be a lot sturdier. For the three marble nails, I'm going to add a small amount of the base gel and as well as some poly gel on top of it to make sure that it adheres to the nail correctly. Because these nails have a bit of a um, thicker uh, base than the clear ones and because I cured them with the gel on them, I want to make sure that they will stick on and the poly gel just helps ensure that it will adhere properly.
after all of the nails have been adhered, I went ahead and I filed and with this particular type of manicure you need to focus your attention at the cuticle area. You can see right there I've made sure to smooth the edges very very well. And the next step is to add a layer of base coat to the two clear nails that uh, we created and I decided to paint on top of them rather than below them because I wanted to make sure that even if the color is a little bit less transparent than I need that it will still adhere properly and I was kind of scared because if you use too much um, color uh, underneath the extension and then try to put it on your nail the poly gel won't cure so it won't stay in place so instead I went ahead and I painted them like this and then I applied a layer of matte top coat to both of them and now it's time for bling and I wanted to create a really special uh, rhinestone arrangement on this nail today so I'm going to be using this rhinestone gel glue and I'm going to be tracing out uh, the parts where I want the rhinestones to be. So I'm going with this gorgeous centerpiece um, and then I'm going to be adding some opal colored rhinestones and some dark green and some lighter green ones and then some caviar beads, gold caviar beads and I think that it really really looks awesome and it's an amazing centerpiece uh, for this look, it doesn't take away from the uh, jade marble kind of thing that's going on in the rest of the nails and I think it really enhances like the velvety green uh, theme of these two matte nails so yeah, I hope you like it as much as I do <laughs> Next, we're going to be adding a thick layer of top coat to the remaining jade nails and then curing that in the lamp for 60 seconds because this is a thicker uh, layer. I wanted to make sure that it cured properly on all sides. But right before curing it, I saw a few patches on a couple of the nails that I didn't really like. They were a bit too empty or not marbled enough. So I just used my detailer brush with some of that darker green color to just add some dimension. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of gold, just enhanced them as much as I needed to uh, on top of the design. So it shows up exactly the way that I had it in my mind. After that, it's time for some cuticle oil so we can nourish our cuticles. And here's the finished look! I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun to put together and I absolutely loved playing with rhinestones and I really also enjoyed the lazy girl method. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment telling me what you thought and subscribe for more videos every single Tuesday. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can see better pictures and with better lighting of this awesome nail set and many others that don't make it to YouTube. So without further ado, I will see you guys next week. Bye!